Hey everybody, it's Gabe from Detailing Growth and today I wanted to take some time to talk to you about how you can spot a bad marketing agency. The goal of this video isn't to talk bad about anyone else's business, but only to arm you with positive information so that you can become an informed consumer and pick an agency that has your best interests at heart. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the DM scam or the we want to partner with you type of agencies. So most of the time, these agencies will reach out to you directly, either via social media or email. They'll talk about them being heavy hitters or they've helped dozens of shops. While this sounds impressive, this is usually a pretty big red flag. We've coined terms for these agencies. They're called runaway agencies named after runaway truck ramps. These agencies promise you the world, claim that they can deliver it super fast. They'll dazzle you and with big numbers and fast results. But the truth is, is that they're setting you up for what we call the 30-day sand pit. Imagine that you are a truck going downhill and you see a runaway truck ramp up ahead. That's what these agencies do. They offer you incredible speed and promise to solve all your problems. But in 30 days, you find yourself stuck in that sand pit making no forward movement. At this point, they offer the lowest effort possible with support that's completely unscalable on their end. They got you hooked, and now you're stuck in the sand going nowhere, unable to move forward. No protective radius is another big red flag. Agencies that don't offer you a radius of protection typically means that they are operating on a lower level of ethics, which typically means they're willing to onboard anybody, including your competition. I can't tell you how many times I've had a competitor send me a message and want to onboard with us with me not realizing that they were a competitor of an existing client, only for me to find that out at the beginning of the research phase. When an agency takes on multiple clients in one area, they can't give you individualized attention. The only thing that you end up doing is competing against somebody else using the same strategies. And agencies that don't offer an exclusive protective radius typically rely on a generic one-size-fits-all type of marketing campaign strategy because it's easier for them to manage versus managing your custom strategy, which is what you should have. What you want is an agency that is going to ensure you that if you are on a plan with them and you're working with them that they're not going to onboard competitors within a certain radius or populace size. Free isn't free. A lot of agencies will lure you in under the guise of we'll do it right or we'll work for free. So let's talk about expectations. When an agency offers to work for free, it usually creates this expectation gap that they're going to do amazing things for you because after all, they're willing to work for free, so they must be pretty good, right? In most cases, these agencies are setting you up for disappointment. They lure you in with a money back or, you know, no charge guarantee, but the level of effort that they give you is usually pretty minimal. And it's not just a theory. We've tried this as an agency ourselves, and it is not scalable and it is not something that is going to work on a large scale. It may work out for the agency in bringing on multiple clients and large numbers of clients, but you can't service all of them if their expectation gap is so big that you need to work for free for them. That's just not a good model. So when you hear the words, we'll do it for free, it's often a sign that that agency is desperate and probably don't have the necessary skills to support you. Be on the lookout for wrapped up ad spend agencies. I don't care what agency says that they can provide you with the best top tier advertising or marketing experience. If they are wrapping up your ad spend inside of their monthly management fees, meaning they're charging you for their fees and the ad spend in one package, one invoice, one chart, you are being scammed. They are skimming your ad spend unequivocally. You will never, ever, ever get true results, nor will you ever be given the real metrics in how your ads are performing. You can't measure ROI without seeing analytical data. And you can't see analytical data if you can't have access to your analytics dashboard to show you how those ads are performing. Because the agency has them wrapped up 
in their own ads manager and isn't sharing the data with you. So that way you have nothing to hold them accountable for. The smart move is to refuse to work with them and move on to another agency. Cheap websites always cost you more than just the amount that they're charging you for it. The first thing you want to think is, wow, a hundred bucks a month? That sounds like a great deal. I could do that. You're right. You could. But let's talk about the implications of that. If somebody's going to charge you $100 for a website, templated, custom built, whatever, there is a 99% chance that that website is templated. It does not have one of one unique content. And do you know what Google does and other search engines do to websites that don't have unique content? They push them down the list, including any assets tied to those websites, meaning your Google My Business listing also lowered in status. So sure, you might get a website for $100 a month, but you're not getting anything beneficial out of that. The only thing it's going to do is decrease your market reach and push you further down the ranks. Avoid cheap copy and paste templated websites that don't have one of one tailored content inside of them. Because let me assure you, if somebody is doing $100 website templates for God knows how many businesses, there's no way that they can customize a 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 page website and customize the text on each individual page for $100 a month and not be sinking a total crapshoot of time into that. Another thing that some agencies will do is that if they're an ads only agency, they will create an over reliance on PPC or pay per click advertising on Google or Facebook. Focusing too much of your effort with an agency on only pay per click advertising creates an imbalance in the way you do business. Typically, you're going to find that most businesses operate on a 60% new or PPC rate and a 40% existing and referral rate from their own pipeline. What happens when you focus in on agencies that want to make ads their only focus, which don't get me wrong, there are plenty of them out there that do good work, but if your only strategy is to pump money into ads, then all you do is tip the scale in the incorrect direction and you set yourself up at 90, 95% reliance on pay-per-click advertising. And now all of a sudden when search engines make a change and your opt-ins decrease, you have nothing to lean on because you've been putting all of your effort into one basket. And let me tell you, that is the worst thing that you could possibly do inside of your business. I talk to guys who do this day in and day out and we pull them out of the fire. My advice to you is if you're going to work with an ads only agency, that's fine because there's quite a few of them that are good. I have a few on my short list when we can't help somebody that we send people to. If you're going to work with an ads only agency, you need to make sure that you're also pairing that with a good organic strategy, content marketing, social media marketing, SEO, website, all of those other things matter. Do not set yourself up to fail and put yourself in a hole for over-reliance on pay-per-click. That is a death sentence for growth. Stay away from agencies that offer you overseas support staff. Not only are you going to get low effort on your website or on your ad campaigns, typically there's a time delay, so you're not going to get anything done in a timely manner. And usually there is a poor English comprehension related issue. So it doesn't matter how articulate you can get in your requests, they usually aren't going to be able to understand you anyway. There are certain agencies that have that dialed in, but for the vast majority of them, it doesn't matter if they have 20, 30, 40, or 50 people working for them. The size of the agency doesn't matter. If they can't understand English and they can't help you during normal U.S. business hours, then what good is that to you as a business? I'll tell you how much. Zero. Zero help. Be aware of cheap ad agencies. This is another version of runaway agencies that we talked about before. They need new people in their pipeline because they're constantly burning through cash and they're churning or overturning clients. Clients are in, clients are out. They're seeing high rates of turnover and they're going to give you a high level of support for 30 days. 
After that 30 days, the support and hands-on approach typically drops off and they start giving you less and less attention till eventually you end up having to tell them to go to hell or screw off and then pull out of the arrangement. These agencies cannot offer you support at scale because let me tell you, marketing agencies need to have a high level of hands-on and support capabilities to support their clients in a proper way, especially ones that need help. Cheap ad agencies and cheap runaway agencies cannot afford to provide you the support that you need. So after talking about all these negatives and red flags, let's talk about what should be the ideal agency for you to work with. Because after all, an agency isn't just a service that you pay for. It should be somebody who wants to be a partner in success for you. They want to see you win. Let me explain. So you're going to want to work with an agency that has industry experience. First and foremost, the ideal agency has experience inside of your industry. They understand clientele, market trends, demographics, customer behaviors, and overall language usage. This allows agencies to craft strategies and put strategies together that actually work for you and your industry and aren't just like generic one-size-fits-all type strategies. Because one-size-fit-all strategies do not work in service-based industries that are niched like PPF, coatings, detailing, and tint. Generalized strategies do not work in this sector. The agency you want to use will have done custom research on you, your business, the market that you're in, and what your competitors are doing to offer you a customized solution to help you get above your competitors and to provide you with a solution that's going to deliver results. Because what works for one shop in another area may not work for yours, and it usually doesn't. Just because one shop says they get this in this market doesn't mean you can get that in your market. They're each different in their own way, and they do not cross-reference and do the same thing in the same place. Each of them is different. Avoid places that want to offer you a cookie-cutter solution. The ideal agency is going to offer you multiple avenues to grow your business. They're not going to offer you just pay-per-click. They're not going to offer you just website. They're not going to offer you just SEO. They're going to have a strategy that's effective for all areas, or they're going to provide you a full solution, one-stop shop type of mentality and operation to be able to fuel your business and put you firing on all cylinders. That's what we do for our clients that work with us. They'll have tools and systems that are designed to help you and your business grow. They should have a way for you to make your life easier every day in your business. The ideal agency will be an entire solution for you and not just a solution for little bits and pieces. The ideal agency is also going to be a partner for you in long-term success. We want to see you grow into a long-term game plan and achieve milestones along the way. Because if you're only focused on 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, if you're only focused on just those short-term windows, what are you going to do six months to a year from now if you didn't have a goalpost to begin with, right? You got to find an agency that's going to work with you and build a long term relationship and one that's willing to go the extra mile if you need help. Because not every agency is willing to do that. And it's quite possibly the most important thing that you could take away from all of this. You want long term partnership and you want somebody who actually cares and wants to see you win. The right agency is going to be the driving force behind your growth and success and offer you a pathway towards developing your cores and your pillars for your business that you truly stand on and they're not going to offer you a cookie cutter solution.